So my favorite stories are about students, of course. Um, but the story that I'd like to share with you today has to do with when I was three years old and living in Camp Tomahawk, which is a trailer um, park located on Highway 12. And my parents had read to me a story of Johnny Appleseed. And I remember as a three-year-old um, really thinking about and being amazed by someone who would plant trees with no expectation of ever being able to eat the apples. Um, planting trees that would impact the lives of other people and the creatures who lived in um, along the roadways and in the places where he planted those trees. About the same time I was also like many three-year-olds insatiably curious about um, everything but in particular how things grew and seeds and planting seeds and I remember asking my mom to please save for me all of the apple seeds that um, you know she would collect as she cut apples for me. I ate apples every day and I remember going out into the just out in the dirt outside of our trailer and carefully planting these seeds watering them um, looking for them in subsequent days and weeks um, to see if my my trees would ever grow from these seeds that I planted so fast forward 20 years and I was in college driving down highway 12 past Camp Tomahawk and I looked over and I saw these apple trees um, these big beautiful apples hanging from these trees that were planted in the vicinity of where my trailer had been and I remember just being deeply joyful and deeply happy even though the realist in me said there's no way that these are the trees that came from the seeds that I planted I know a little bit more now about apple trees and planting apple trees but it occurred to me that we should never stop planting seeds um, first we never know the the rippling impact of seeds that we do plant and secondly we never know about um, the people who are watching us and how our actions may inspire them to plant seeds or to grow trees and the seeds that we plant today are never in vain whether we're able to see growth from them or whether our actions inspire someone else to plant seeds. Thank you.